What's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm doing well. And I'm here to do a fellow vlogger tag video. And I'm super excited about it. And I've also had so many people ask me how to get started vlogging, how do I get started doing videos. So I feel like this is the perfect tag video to do. I was tagged by my homie, my sister from another mister, Miss Sarcas. That you my homie, girl. Give me some. Bop, bop tag me in some more videos i love to start doing a tag i love your random questions video please check out my homie her link is down below please be sure to like this video i'd really appreciate it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already it's free 99 and go ahead and get into my favorite apps i just have to plug these feature points it's amazing so many of you guys have been telling me you have been downloading and you have been cashing in for free paypal amazon starbucks credit get it in boo play the games accumulate points cash your points in and get the PayPal credit. I mean, it's free. You don't have to put in anything. They don't need no credit card, nothing. It's free. So go ahead and use my code down below and you'll go ahead and start out with some points to set you on your way. So I have my handy dandy phone right here and I'm gonna go ahead and answer these questions. Thank the Lord that the questions are in here, honey. No matter, oh no. What type of vlog channel do you have? Um. I'm guessing my is it my channel okay my channel as a whole it's like a gumbo pod even with my vlog videos I just do what I like I do reviews a lot I, I'm known for my reviews I review any and everything I love my haul videos I love my vlog videos that I do I just do what feels good to me and it's work for me and I love it I enjoy it and that's just me though dog no more dos. what is your vlog name and what is the meaning behind it guessing my channel name um my channel name is miss ptv 9090 my first channel was miss tp 90 which is actually my instagram and twitter handle because that used to be everything but when i first started i was posting things that had copyrighted music and all that so i figured i would start over and i'm uh, miss ptv 9090 i go by miss ptv on my facebook so the 9090 was the year i was born and the 90s just stuck miss p is a nickname from high school and it's also an abbreviation of my last name so yeah. Three. How long have you been vlogging? I have been vlogging whew, since 2009. So yeah, that's a pretty long time. Let me know when you came in the game with Miss PTV. Are you an old school subscriber? Like how long, how long you been rocking with your girl? Number four. What type of camera do you use? Right now I'm using a Canon T4i, it's everything. Now for vlogging, I mainly use my Canon PowerShot ELPH330HS. And I love this camera too, it's freaking awesome. And I totally agree with Sam, I mean, it's an awesome camera. She's actually the one that got me hooked on Canon cameras and I love it. And I totally agree about the wind. The wind, oh my God. And don't accidentally cover up the sound if you get somebody else to record for you, it's a travesty. Sometimes I record with this if I forget my camera, but um, I try not to record with my Galaxy because then I have to move the files and try, it's just too much work. Number five, what editing program do you use? I move you all day, boo all day i'm gonna try to get into final cut i still use um screen flow too that's a good one number six how do you feel when vlogging in public i feel fine y'all see me when i'm walking around and i'm waving at people i'm like hey girl like i'm just used to it now and i've always had a camera with me even from when i was a little girl i was always fascinated with video and photography so i'm cool with it and as other people i've had people come up to me before and be like what are you doing and i tell them and they're like oh my god that's so cool i wish i could do that and i'm like you can number seven what is the best thing about vlogging the best thing is connecting with so many people um and being able to quote unquote be an inspiration to others i mean i've heard that in emails and different people telling me on twitter and facebook and instagram and i think that's awesome that my life can affect so many people in a positive way and i love that and i'm just being myself i mean what you see right now is what you're gonna get if you ever see me in person so many opportunities have stemmed from doing videos online and it's just a blessing like things i could never dream about or think about and connecting with so many people that is the best thing the connections that you'll have and the friendships that you'll make that you would have never made if it weren't for the internet so yeah it's crazy number eight what is the worst thing about vlogging 
but people think that they know the ins and outs of how my family rolls and what I do on a day to day and what I'm eating and what's best for me and it's like really? Like, y'all, okay, I'm letting you in, but you done came in the house and stole and walked out. You have to have a thick skin to be a vlogger as well because people can say some pretty crazy things. Totally agree, Sam. When you're vlogging and you forget to press record or you miss the moment because you're fiddling with getting it. <sighs> Number nine, do family and friends like being a part of your vlogs? Yeah, when I'm not vlogging now, sometimes my friends and family, they're like, where your camera at? You not on vlog? And I'm like, oh wow. Number 10. Besides making memories, what do you want your viewers to get from your channel? Um, basically that they can do anything that they want to. Um, I've showcased so much on my channel from going into college, graduating from college, um, doing my thing. Uh, meeting new people, trying new things, being on a weight loss journey, losing weight, gaining weight, losing it again, staying on track. I mean, just different things that I've done, reviewing tech, um, showcasing different things, just like anything is possible when you put your mind to it. And I really use my vlog channel as holding myself accountable for a lot of things. And I'm glad that other people have started to be healthier or go to school or make something better of themselves or get a job or, you know, just being a better person. And that's all I want people to do is be the best possible them because that's what I'm working on. And also showing my shortcomings and showing how I can and will overcome them so other people know that they can do the same thing. <laughs> 11. What tips do you have for future vloggers? Ooh, that's a good question. Number one, have a good camera, honey. I mean, we live in a world nowadays, you can get a good quality camera for under $100. Make sure you have a great quality camera because if you don't, people, they ain't gonna watch your stuff. Like seriously, they gonna look at it and go, uh, X. I'm just saying, good sound works well as well. And also be yourself. I can tell when somebody faking, I can tell when somebody really not who they say they are. I can tell when somebody's getting a product and they just got it and they just happy and they're not honest at all. Like you can tell when you just putting on, you can tell when you're just doing it for the quote unquote money or the popularity. Um, especially when people do reviews on shows, you can tell when people just want to be on the bandwagon or people who genuinely enjoy it, making people laugh or making people smile. So make sure you're doing it for the right reasons and don't think you're going to get paid buku's of money when you first start out I mean no if you've been in the game for a minute sure but don't think that you just oh I'm gonna do YouTube and I'm gonna get paid nah not necessarily I mean you got to put the work in you have to do the work in the Ayala voice but for real you gotta do the work if you really want to take it seriously but more importantly have fun I mean if I'm not having fun if I'm not smiling if I'm not feeling good I'm not gonna do no review y'all won't see that I can do no video number 12 what is the craziest thing you have ever vlogged? Hmm. Okay, I didn't vlog this, but I was at Six Flags over Georgia and a friend of mine was record he was recording on his phone and he recorded the whole roller coaster ride. Okay? I was like, how in the world? But I'm so glad he did that because now I have that to look back on. And I'd never think I could hold a camera in my hand while I'm on a roller coaster. Like, nah, bro. Mm -mm. But I think that's like the craziest thing I've ever recorded. Number 13. If you could vlog anywhere, where would it be? I want to start traveling. Like, for real, for real traveling. Like, a travel network type of adventure type of thing. And I would love to do that. But ultimately, I'd love to do like a cruise or um, London, I wanna go to Australia. Like there's plenty of places that I wanna go. I just love vlogging everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I lost the email. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, number 14, how long do you plan on vlogging? Hmm, that's a good question. As long as I can. Number 15, what vloggers do you look up to? Um, I don't really look up to like, oh my God, I look to you. No, um, I love, of course, Sarcasm's videos. Um, who else do I watch? The Levine Life, I love them, they're so cute. Uh, who else do I watch? Um, David DeFranco, love his. Uh, fun for Louie, 
I have been on a fun for Louis marathon. Love him to pieces. And I'll put some more people down below. But y'all know it's hot outside. I can't think my brain. But yeah, I'll put, post some more down below. I just love people who you can tell they love what they're doing. And they put the editing into it. The music. Like, it's dope. And it's seamless. It's flawless. They woke up like this. Number 16. Do you like to add music in your vlogs and special effects? Or do you like to keep it more real life? Lately, I've been adding music, and that especially helps with the transition. So, lately, I add music. Um, I don't be doing no special effects, shall we? I ain't got time for that. Number 17. Who does the editing? Me, myself, and I. Number 18. How long does it take to edit? That's a great question. It normally takes between 30 minutes to an hour to edit because I do like a raw edit, then I clean it up again, and then I do it one more time, and then I'm done. Number 19. How long is your longest vlog? Child, I don't know. And the last question, number 20. Who would you like to collab with? You know what? I don't have anybody like on my brain that I'd love to collab with. I'm open to collabing with people. I would love to do that. But the only thing is, if you guys want to collab with me, send me an email of the ideas that you have and we can work together. But make sure you have great quality videos. Your sound is good because when you put them together, you want it to look real good. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, if you want to collab, let me know. You want to do a tag, you want to do something, hit me up and I'll check it out, okay? Thank you so much to Sam for tagging me in this video I really do appreciate it and if you would like to do this video go ahead and do it down below if you have any further questions about vlogging you want to get in depth with some things then go ahead and uh, put your comment down below and I will be sure to comment back to you or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook please be sure to follow me on Facebook I have a Facebook fan page and I post like photos and stuff over there and real real dope stuff in my opinion but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you guys on the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless Bye.